to episode two. Here it is. <laughs> it's gonna be a tour video about Lady Bunny in travel mode. Travel mode is where everything's tucked away in its place so that we're able to drive, able to travel. Um, the other mode is camping mode, which is where everything's set up and spread out so that we can use everything that we have. Since we moved into Lady Bunny, things have changed quite a bit. Uh, the way that we had organized it initially has definitely changed. Um, items have been adapting and moving to different places as we find you know, what we reach for the most. So this is inside the living space of Lady Bunny Van. Over here we have a whiteboard where we like to keep our to-do lists, also holds magnets. And above it we have the sink here. It's a $5 stainless steel bowl from Walmart, a $99 faucet. I drilled a hole in that stainless steel bowl and then I ran plastic tubing out of the sliding door so the sink just drains to the outside. Let me show you how it works. So it works like that because it's just this tiny measly pump that we have underneath the tank down here and we, tr we got it through a trade so we literally paid no money for it. The water for the sink comes from this tank here, it's a 10 liter tank from Canadian Tire. We just have to fill it up at gas stations or with our filtered water that we filter from the lake. We used a system called Platypus to filter our water. Um, and the system just contained two bags and a filter. One bag was labeled the dirty bag and we would take water from like lakes or ponds, whatever was available, and that would drain in through the filter into the clean bag. And we also, under here, we like to keep towels, dish towels, um, soap. Um. Up here we have some of that concentrated biodegradable soap watered down here for hand washing or dish washing. Next to it we have a little white cup here that holds our toothbrushes, toothpaste, our sponge for dishwashing. And above that we have um, our medicine cabinet, which we keep miscellaneous stuff in there. There's like bug spray, super glue, vitamins, oil, lots, lots of stuff in there. And it's all pretty much held by uh, Velcro. So even when we're driving, it's, it doesn't come off because it's the industrial strength Velcro. In these compartments, is our, it's our main food compartments, our cabinets, uh, where we keep most of our food. Um, so we like to carry our staple foods like rice, we got some quinoa, some beans, nuts and seeds, all that kind of stuff goes in there. So the staple foods that we eat we get from bulk food stores and we would just bring in our Ziploc bags and put it in them. Um, we chose the Ziploc sandwich bags because they're smaller and they're just really easy to fit in the places that we need them to fit. Our food continues over here behind the guitar where we keep our spices um, and then we also have this uh, little fresh herb garden where we keep uh, chives, basil, and thyme. Behind the herbs there is the bookshelf. We just keep all our books over there. If you look up to the ceiling, we have our beautiful wooden ceiling panels at the top here. And if you look at the back, that white circle at the back is a fire alarm or a smoke detector. Yeah, so we have two different sets of lights. We've got the four lights that run along the side there and the lights that come through the middle here. Those are all powered through an outlet and we have to plug them into the inverter. When we have two things like we have right now plugged into the inverter already, we have these other lights that are just on a battery. Um, but the ones that are connected to the inverter, uh, we can control with this uh, here, uh, which is just the remote, um, and it controls all of them. So we can change the colors, we can change the brightness. And then over here we have our thermometer, uh, which has another little um, piece which is inside the refrigerator so it tells us both the fridge temperature as well as our indoor temperature. How we can use this space is the bed here can be used as a couch to watch like a television show or read a book or something. You can also sit up and use the laptop as like a desk or a workspace. 
And then the third way to do it is bed. So the sleeping positions that we take, this mattress looks really small, but it fits two people very comfortably. My favorite part of our design of our van is not having to do one task to do another task. So not having to fold up the bed into a couch to sit on a couch, or not having to unlock the pantry door to open and get food. So this is under our bed. It's the storage where we keep all of our clothes and like big heavy items. Um, so on this side we have like my clothes closer to this door here and then Matt's clothes also close to this so we can access it easily. Um, we also have like our big heavy items like uh, our extra tire is in here. Um, we have like a really big tarp that we keep under here. Backpacks, hammock, extra rope. I have like my hair dryer, the flat iron. This is a uh, other storage compartment that's under the bed. Sometimes you can access this through just lifting the mattress. Um, but basically we have uh, a bunch of, or all of our games under here. So those are like board games, we have our slack line, we have water jug, extra stuff, and then we have like our sports games in this bag here. So in this uh, big camping bag we keep all of our camping stuff. So we have a tent and like sleeping bags, sleeping pads, everything we need is just in here. So if we ever have like company that wants to stay with us, we pop this out and let them stay in our tent or if we want to you know go on a big hike. We really like to use all the nooks and crannies in our van uh, as storage if we can so for example we keep our towels behind our seat here uh, we have about four towels in there um, we have like mouthwash here and then everything we need for showers and or baths or whatever is right here under the baby wipes this is our favorite pocket to use. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of bursting a little bit. And then in the other pocket over here, uh, it's where we keep most of uh, like the manuals for things. So to access our clothes, the most convenient way uh, is to access it through our so-called dresser, which is this little latch here. So another method of storage for our clothes that we like to use, uh, which is mostly for like our bigger kind of like sweaters and things like that, is to just put them with our pillows. We also have the curtains that section out the cab from the back. Um, they're on a track, so we just simply have to like move them along the track and it's all good. It's not the smoothest of systems. So we have a bunch of hooks up here where we like to keep the things that we reach for the most or just very like small light things that can be hung up. So for example, over here we have our essential oils which we make our mosquito repellent out of um, and they're good for other things. I like to put my watch up here. Um, we got some like lights, some bathroom stuff. We always have our refillable water bottles here. We got a little tiny first aid kit and like our little sewing stuff. And then we also keep our garbage here. This is what we call under the hatch of Lady Bunny Van. Okay, so we have this compartment here where we keep our propane stove. It's a two burner propane stove with our propane. We also carry around our toilet seat back here. So behind the fridge we have a little crevice compartment thing. We keep our folding table, our fishing net, a grill for the fireplace, for the campfire, and we keep our cutting board back there. Things that are thin and can slide in there nicely. Yeah, and then we usually keep produce here most of the time. And then we also have like our first aid kit always here handy. Um, and then we have this shoe compartment thing. We saw in a lot of van build videos on YouTube, people were using these types of things. 
so we thought we'd try it out. But we're not the biggest fans of it, it kind of looks really cluttered, and we only really use it for miscellaneous things. Another food storage <coughs> compartment over here, we call it the pantry. It's for easy access things, we don't need to open a door. The fridge here, we've got a little strap, it straps on like that so the fridge can't open when we're driving. Let's see what's in the fridge. Uh, garlic, jam, ketchup, mustard. We have this milk jug here that we used to use. We use powdered milk now, so now there's just an avocado in there. Another thing we learned when we were just moving into the van is that electric coolers, they suck. We tried <laughs> one out, it was terrible, it couldn't keep our food cold, so we just went and bought a mini fridge. And then in our last little compartment here, this is where we like to keep our pee jug. It's so comforting to have when you know you're in the city, there's nowhere to pee, but you really have to pee, or you know, there's just like millions of mosquitoes outside. We've also got this cup here holding the bigger utensils. We put it away in a little crevice over there so when we're driving it doesn't. This little clamp here, it holds down the pull-out counter that pulls out to here. And when we're driving we just like to keep the clamp nice and tight and secure. And we also have this light that we can put up here. It's really nice for when we have the hatch open. Um, and it's just the light that we like to usually carry out in the front, but we put these Velcro pieces up here. This is what's on our roof of our van. We've got three 100 watt solar panels. To mount them, I first screwed and bolted them through the, the roof of the van, and then I put Gorilla Glue along the bottom and pressed it down to adhere it to the top, and then I caulked all around the edges and all around the, the screws so that no water can get inside. The black bar here at the top used to be attached to right here, and I couldn't slide it any more forward than right here, so it was shading this a lot. So I moved up there to stop the shading, and we can still put our canoe on top. So the wires from the roof come through the hatch here and underneath this piece of carpet and it makes its way underneath here where it connects to the back of the charge controller here. Our charge controller has this display with a little LED light and it shows percentage, amperage and voltage. It also has this little USB output which has been very helpful. We bought this USB splitter, which gives us four USBs from this one. Then the wire travels from the charge controller down here through this red wire to over here on the side of the sliding door and into this thing here, which is where our batteries are. This thing also doubles as our end table. These are 12 volt AGM batteries with 110 amp hours. Warning. Let acid batteries gas off. If you keep them in a confined space, please have ventilation. So make sure that if you have batteries inside the living space of wherever you are, that you have sealed batteries because you definitely don't want them to off gas. Warning! And also make sure that if you're installing batteries inside a car, to have them um, bolted down. Warning! <laughs> Um, then the electricity travels back through the same cord and it goes through a 30 amp fuse and it also goes through a 110 amp fuse. I don't know why they sold me this 110 amp fuse when the kit came with the 30 amp fuse because this is the always oh, going to be the one that blows no matter what. And then the wires come from those fuses and they go up behind the cabinet into our inverter. It's a 700 watt pure sine wave inverter. It's the off switch. And yeah, that's our solar system. What we power with our solar system is all stored kind of over here. We uh, just like a hard drive. Um, this is the latch that keeps the drawers closed when we drive so they don't slide out on turns. Um, yeah, the drawers just have a bunch of chargers and cables in them. Everything that our solar system powers, I have on a list right here. I can read it to you. So we power our ceiling lights, a water pump, fridge, our fans. We charge our phones, we charge our laptop, we charge the vacuum that we use, we charge a Game Boy, we charge an iPod, 
We have hard drives. Yeah, we have to charge batteries for the batterized lights, the fire alarm, the thermometers. And yeah, that's about it. To save some space inside the van, we strapped our fishing gear, paddles, life jackets, and camping chairs to the outside. So in order to keep good ventilation in the van, we just installed some screens into the front windows um, using magnets. I know I said this in the van build video, but I think it's really important that you don't put Reflectix insulation right against a metal van wall because that will severely reduce the insulation factor of the Reflectix because it will conduct that heat or cold from the outside. The worst part of the design for me, I think, were the curtains, just because we really had to tuck them in to the sides and like to the top if we wanted it to be completely blacked out inside, um, so it was annoying. My least favorite part of the design of our van is that you can't stand up in there. If I would make another van, I'd probably want to be able to stand up inside of it. I think my favorite part of the design was the hallway. Um, even though, you know, it's a minivan and it's not very spacious, I'm pretty small so I could get through that hallway really easily. And it really made for, like, a homier type of space, especially when we were camping and we'd have the hatch open. Mm -hmm.